This is a cinematic cast, which means you don't need to know anything about this game to follow along. Enjoy. Allied forces have been tasked with securing the approach to Lumber Hill outside Duclair. Engineers are deployed as a scouting force to secure the area and set up a forward base of operations. Meanwhile, the German forces in Duclair are already moving to secure Lumber Hill, a key strategic position. At 1300 hours, Allied forces assault the approach to Lumber Hill, making contact with the Axis. They quickly take the initiative, securing the area and locking it down with mortar fire, machine guns, and rifle support. With the approach to Lumber Hills secure, Allied forces now move to try and cut off supply lines to the town of Duclair itself, trying to prevent the Germans from capturing a much-needed fuel depot. Allied forces engage German troops to try and prevent the capture of a fuel depot. It looks like they will be unsuccessful, so they mount a counterattack to take this back so the supplies to Duclair cannot make it through. However, Germans employ heavy machine guns that drive back the Allied forces. Heavy conflict ensues. Currently, the Allied forces are still successful in their primary objective, and that is to secure the approach to Lumber Hill. German soldiers also begin to move mortars up when suddenly a large Axis force assaults the flank of the Allied forces, pushing forward with German sniper support. Axis forces have pushed deep into Allied territory on this flank, assaulting now the supply lines of the American soldiers. Some American heavy machine gun crews do show up to help hold back this force when suddenly the entire flanking force of Axis soldiers retreats. American riflemen attempt to cut off this retreat, but additional German soldiers do show up to help safeguard the fallback. Meanwhile, at the approach to Lumber Hill, it seems as if this was just a distraction as soldiers there move forward to break the Allied foothold on that approach. Allied forces launch an immediate counterattack. They need to prevent the Axis forces from securing this area. Allied forces begin to fall back and it looks as if the Axis are going to be able to lock down the area. When finally, help arrives in the form of a crocodile Sherman tank equipped with the flamethrower that can help turn the tide of battle and push back the German soldiers. Axis troops find themselves helpless against this destructive machine of war. Allied forces have now resecured the approach to Lumber Hill. They begin to push the hill itself when anti-tank guns are spotted, so the Sherman Crocodile pulls back, not wanting to lose the momentum that they have, and instead redeploys itself onto the flank of the German troops, catching another anti-tank gun off guard, able to take it out before it can move itself to Lumber Hill to help defend. Enemy unit down. All looks lost for the German soldiers when suddenly a reinforcing Panzer IV tank arrives on the battlefield to drive back the crocodile. 
This Sherman tank has traded its primary gun for a flamethrower, making it useless against an enemy tank. It tries to retreat as fast as it can to prevent the Panzer IV from taking it out, but the anti-tank guns on Lumber Hill aid in destroying the Sherman. The American forces now find themselves in a very difficult situation. However, it seems that Allied forces also have reinforcements, the arrival of another Sherman tank, and howitzer heavy artillery. As rocket fire begins to slam into Allied forces, it is now clear that German soldiers also have artillery support in the form of a walking Stuka, a half-track that has been converted into a missile launcher. Allied forces have now been reinforced by an entire armor division. It looks like just in time as the German tank column is now beginning to assault. Allied soldiers begin to fall back, however, many of the German tanks were destroyed and it looks like Allied troops are beginning to mass for a counterattack. To Niccolo, what are you like? Jesus Christ, a missile! Fall back, fall back! Allied soldiers are scattered and anti-tank emplacements have been destroyed along with their heavy artillery. However, U.S. Rangers have been deployed to the battlefield and are capable of driving back this assault. However, not one, but two German Tiger tanks showed up, and then that was kind of all she wrote. Good game, Allied forces. You tried your best.